In this lesson, we learn proof by induction with products. The steps for mathematical induction are show it is true for a base case, often where n equals 1. Assume it is true for n equals k. Use the assumption to show it is true for n equals k plus 1. And finally, conclude the proof. Here is an example. This proof is only valid for positive integer values of n. So we write this symbol where the z plus means positive integers only. Step one is to prove the base case. To do this, we simply take n to be equal to one. When n equals one, we just have one minus one over one plus one on the left of the equal sign. We substitute n equals one on the right hand side to obtain one over one plus one. Now we just show that these are equal. We have one minus a half and one half. We can see that we obtain a half equals a half. And so the base case is true. Now we assume true for n equals k. We take our original statement and wherever there is an n, we sub in k. This is an equation we assume to be true and we'll use in the next step. Here we set up an equation that we want to prove. This step is the main algebraic part. We take the original statement and put in the term before the final bracket, which is one minus one over n. We set up the equation we wish to prove by substituting n equals k plus one to obtain the following. We simplify this so the final bracket becomes one minus one over k plus two. Now the bit in purple is the same as our assumption from step two. We substitute this result in to obtain the following. Now we expand the brackets. Next, we multiply the first term by k plus two on top and bottom shown in blue. Now we have the same denominator in both fractions. We can combine them. The numerator simplifies as so. We divide the numerator and denominator by k plus one to obtain one over k plus two equals one over k plus two. The result for n equals k plus one has been proven. Finally, we conclude the proof. We state that the result was true for our base case of n equals one. We state that it was true for n equals k plus one, provided that it was true for n equals k. Remember, we used our assumption in step two to help us complete the proof in step three. Then we state that the statement is therefore true for all positive integers. Here is another example. We will prove it for all integer values of n greater than or equal to two. Therefore, we will use n equals two as our base case. Substituting n equals two on the left side, we obtain one minus one over two squared. On the right, we obtain two plus one over two times two. We obtain three quarters equals three quarters, and so our base case is true. We assume true for n equals k. We take the original statement and substitute n equals k. In the next step, we take the original statement and include an extra term of one minus one over n minus one squared before the final bracket. We substitute n equals k plus one to obtain the result we wish to prove, which is as follows. We can simplify this like so. Now we substitute the purple part with our assumption from step two like so.
equation are equal. We first expand the brackets. Now we can cancel the k plus 1 terms in blue. Now we multiply the first term by k plus 1 on the numerator and denominator to obtain common denominators in the fractions. We expand the bracket on the top of the first fraction and write as one fraction. Simplifying the numerator, we obtain the following. Then we factor out k from the numerator, which will cancel with the k on the bottom. This leaves us with the desired result. Now we conclude the proof as before. Here is a final example. We start by forming a sequence of odd numbers. They can be written as 2 times a number minus 1. For example, 2 times 1 minus 1, 2 times 2 minus 1, and so on until 2 times n minus 1. This is how we represent odd numbers in induction 2 times a number minus 1. Our first step is to show it is true for the base case of n equals 2. We simply substitute n equals 2 and show that the product obtained is odd. So we have 2 times 1 minus 1 and 2 times 2 minus 1. We only have the two brackets for n equals 2 and 2 times 1 minus 1 multiplied by 2 times 2 minus 1 equals 3. This is odd and so the base case is true. We assume it is true for n equals k. We take the original expression and substitute n equals k. We write it equal to 2a minus 1. This is because we are assuming the answer is odd and 2a minus 1 will give us an odd answer no matter what the integer a is. Now we prove it in step 3. We look at the original expression and include the bracket before the final bracket where we have two lots of n minus 1, minus 1. We substitute n equals k plus 1 into this to obtain the following. We expand the bracket inside the final bracket and simplify like so. Now we replace the purple Part with our assumption from step 2. Now we just need to show this is odd. We expand to get 4ak plus 2a minus 2k minus 1. We can factor out 2 from the first three terms like so. Now we have two lots of an integer minus 1, which is odd. The value inside the brackets 2ak plus a minus k is just an integer. Now we conclude the proof. Visit mathsathome.com for further videos and practice.